I welcome you to the third National DA's Convention on Narcotics and Dangerous Drugs. And now, without further ado, the man who will define this cancer eating at the heart of America, Dr. L. Ron Bumquist. So this best was an easy letter. I didn't believe they were real. Not like this, but I'm not hundreds of them. Because we must. They're actually pretty nice people, once you get to know them. Know them? I don't know like these people. My yeah. goddamn blood. Don't say that word around here. Get them excited. Yeah, right. The most efficient way for us to do this is for each one of us to try and attempt to imagine what it is like inside of the possessed hmm? mind of the addict. For example, a dope fiend refers to the reefer butt as a roach because it resembles a cockroach. What the fuck is people are talking about? You gotta be crazy and ass to think it's a goddamn cockroach. You will notice that I have distinguished four four distinct states of being in the cannabis or marijuana society. They are cool, groovy, hip, and square. Seldom, if ever. Too crazy, man. You're too crazy. Uh, uh, I'm gonna shoot you down. Man. What a fucking nightmare. If he figures out what is happening, then he can rise one notch and become hip. And then if he can convince himself to approve of what is happening, then he becomes groovy. Groovy. And then after that, he can actually raise himself to the rank of cool. He can become one of those cool gods. Dr. Blomquist. Yeah. Do you think the uh, anthropologist Margaret Mead's strange behavior of late uh, could be explained by a private marijuana addiction? Good question. I'm not really sure I can answer that. But what I can tell you, sir, is if Margaret Mead, at her age, smoked grass, she'd have one hell of a trip. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bullshit. I'll be down in the casino. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Objector, please. Excuse me. All right. No, you're dope fiend. Your life may depend on it. You will not be able to see his eyes because of T-shades. But his knuckles will be white from inner tension. And his pants will be crusted with semen from constantly jacking off when he can't find a rape victim. He will stagger and babble when questioned. He will not respect your man. The dope thing fears nothing. He will attack for no reason with every weapon at his command. Including yours. Beware. Any